Hi, I'm down in the dumpster room. You're not going to believe what I've found. Check it out. A brand new key sight scope. It's even got the uh, factory screen protector still on it. What idiot dumped this? But check it out. Look. 1000 X series. I have never seen a 1000 X series before. They've had the 2000 and the 3000 series, but it's a bit dumpster smelly, but geez, and better than this, so this looks like it's a brand new series scope, but better than this, there's five of them. Unbelievable. Let's take it back to the lab. Wow, look at this. What are the odds of finding something like this? A brand new series key sight scope. Wow, the DSO X 1102G function generator built in, two channels. It's no doubt using the uh, Mega Zoom 4 ASIC that's in the uh, 2000 and 3000 series, 100 megahertz bandwidth. I, I think this could be the top of the line model, two gig sample per second. Thank you very much. Wonder if it works. Let's turn it on. Lights up. Not bad for a dumpster scope. I mean, what, what are the odds of finding a brand new series in there? I, it's just uh, incredible. Yeah, Mega Zoom 4 technology. Look at that. I guessed right. You betcha. InfiniVision scope. None of this rebadged rubbish. And takes a while to boot, though. Copyright 1989 to 2016. Whoa, well, someone must have dumped it in there last year, I suspect. Anyway, beauty. Look at that. It's a Bobby Dazzler. Yep, all the buttons are pushable. No wackers. And it's got whoa, FFT, math, bus. Looks like it's got serial decoding. Hmm, very nice. Let's rip that annoying screen protector off, but it was nice of somebody to leave it on there when they dumped this thing. Beautiful. And it looks like it's got all the capability of the regular um, X series scopes, but in a much more compact two channel and no doubt lower cost uh, form factor. So I, I won't go through everything. I'll have to do a separate review video of this, but fantastic. <laughs> it's looking good, but building function gen and it's got the demo as well, demo output as well. Wonder if it does all those signals and stuff. Hmm, yep, serial buses. Nice, that'll be hardware decoding too. Telling you what, I like the look of this save to USB button. Beauty, just hit that. Bob's your uncle. 20 meg function, Jen. Oh yeah, training signals. Now we're talking. Ha ha ha, just like on the bigger X series. Fantastic. Hang on, check this out. DVM. Okay, cool, we're going to turn on a digital voltmeter. What's this? FRA, Frequency Response Analysis. Wow, are you kidding me? Let's do that. Whoa! Wow, we've got ourselves bode plot functionality, gain and phase versus frequency. It looks identical to the one that they offer in the uh, power supply analysis option in the um, high-end 3000X and uh, higher scopes. It looks like they've actually just cut the code out of that and whacked it straight in this little uh, like baby bottom end unit. Fantastic. Check it out. We can even make it uh, transparent, of course, so that it's still on there, but you can still see all the waveforms and everything else behind it, including the serial decode. <laughs> but yeah, of course, we can't be using the serial decode because we've got to use the inputs to measure the bode plot. So let's have a look in our setup here. What have we got? Oh, here we go. It shows you how to hook it up. Yeah, there's your DART, your device under test, and you take the wave gen out. No wonder it's got a wave gen on it. And uh, and connect that through to channel one, and V in of your DART, and then V out goes to channel two. Simple. Anyway, our minimum frequency, 20 hertz. Okay, that's reasonable. Uh, you know, for doing like power supply uh, stability loop analysis, uh, stuff like that, getting the phase versus uh, gain and phase versus frequency, then, you know, that's more than enough. Max frequency, yep, 20 hertz. There we go. Ampli we can set our amplitude. That can go up to oh, 9 volts peak to peak. Thank you very much. Down to 1 millivolts. And our, whether or not our output load is 50 ohms. And what else have we got in here? Chart, what can we do? We can set our gain scale uh, in dB, of course. That's in, what, 5, five dB steps? Yeah, that's usable. 
gain offset. Once again, that's in uh, five, 10 dB uh, steps, uh, five dB steps, so that we can uh, that'll move it up and down, and we and we can do exactly the same thing with the uh, uh, phase scale as well. That's in five degree increments, phase phase offset. Yep, five degrees, beauty, and we can just auto it. Let's give it a bowl. So for the purpose of today's experiment, I just so happen to have a uh, selectable bandpass, low-pass LC filter board here that we can hook up so we can just get a basic uh, bandpass thing because that's what we really want to see. So we've got channel A and B hooked up there. Let's give it a bell. So we'll let's set up there for our maximum frequency range, 20 hertz to 20 megahertz. Ah, oh, 9 volts peak to peak max. Why not? And let's run that and see what happens. Whoa! Check it out, looks like it's it's displaying the uh, waveforms there on both channels and I haven't set that to transparent so it looks like it's uh, it's displaying those on by default, it should probably uh, vanish and it looks like it's auto scaling there and yep, check it out that blue one there, that blue trace, that's going to be our uh, frequency and yeah, it's going to flatten out, it's going to flatten out, it should in theory look like a bandpass filter and there's our phase up there, of course, is the uh, pink one. Pink? Why not? And, wow, look at that. So it's sweeping from 20 hertz up to 20 meg. Oh, what a bobby. And then it auto-gained. It auto-scaled those at the end. Look at that. Fan-freaking-tastic. So obviously with the phase there, there you go, we've hit some sort of LC thing. So that is, yeah, um, that's just a function of the circuit that we're testing. But we got our beautiful bandpass response. Look at that. If we go into chart, can we change that after the fact? Gain scale? You would bet we can. So there we go. We're changing our scale. And so we can go into our gain offset. There we go. So we could, uh, yeah, move that down like that, and we can increase that, oh, there we go, oh no, that's the best we can do, there you go, and we can do the same for the phase as well, we can adjust our scale there, and our offset, if we want to actually put it on the screen, terrific, that's basic bode plot functionality, fantastic, and I see some cursors in there, let's have a look, if we twirl the knob, Yep, look at that. We can get the readings. Beauty. Whoa, our frequency's going ballistic down there. Transparent. Oh, yeah, there's, yeah, I don't think we're triggering off the uh, channel one signal there. Oh, so this thing looks like a Bobby Dazzler, and it's obviously designed for a low end budget uh, price point, the new X series. I was wondering when they were going to release this and bring the uh, Mega Zoom 4 technology down into a lower end, because the uh, 2000 X series is, it has sort of been middle in class. It hasn't targeted that uh, low end price point. I don't know what the price of this baby is going to be yet, but I believe it's going to be reasonably low. And I've been doing some snooping and it turns out that this thing hasn't even been released yet. It's actually going to be officially released on the uh, 1st of March. So um, Keyside are going to have some big da -da 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 launch thing for it. And also they've been promoting their scope month, uh, which is going to happen for March. So every day in March, I believe they're going to give away like five of these things a day or something like that. But hey, I found five units in the dumpster. So I think I'm just going to give these away. So I'll probably... Uh, have a contest uh, forum thread for it, just like I normally uh, do. I'll give away uh, one to my uh, patron uh, Patreon uh, supporters as well. And for the first time, I think I'll try and give one away in uh, the YouTube comments. So, what? Because I I found a script online that allows you to pick a random. Uh, YouTube comment, like a random winner kind of thing. So I think I'll do that. So I'll put a link down below to a video over on my EEV Blog 2 channel, and that'll just be a giveaway video for one of these scopes. And so all you got to do is leave a comment over in that video. You can't leave it in this video, but if you go over to that video, then yeah. So uh, for those who complain, uh, just the YouTube, my YouTube audience who don't go to the forum or anything else, um, you can win one too. But anyway, they're giving away a whole bunch of these for scope month. Unbelievable. I'll link that in down below as well as uh, they're giving away some high-end ones as well. Beauty. Anyway, 
What a dumpster find. No doubt we'll do a uh, teardown and a full review of this thing once it's released. Anyway, I hope you liked it. Catch you next time.